given a very short time to summarize what I need to say about Islam. That's why I decided to focus on some points that people here in the States and in Europe keep asking about. Before I start, I would like to say one important thing. I personally don't believe in the term radical Islam or militant Islam. Islam is Islam. There is no difference between regular Islam and radical Islam. Islam is different than what religion is known to be. Islam is not only a religion. It's a political ideology deeply rooted in its teachings and unfortunately advocates violence and enforces its agenda by force. If you hear someone claiming that he's a true Muslim and a true American at the same time, then you have been deceived. deceived. A few days ago, throughout a social gathering, I was approached by who seemed to be angry women. She introduced herself as an atheist from a very strict Catholic background. And she claimed that the Islamic history is very similar to the Catholic history and there is no point over criticizing uh, Islam and not all religions. What I say is humans are human. And the human history repeats itself in different times and different places. And it's true that the Islamic history is similar in some parts of it to the Catholic history or to the history of Christianity. But no Christian committed a crime can claim that he did it because Jesus had done it. While the biography of Muhammad is filled with violence and criminal acts. Go back to the Islamic sources and read this biography and you will wonder if we will ever be able to reconstruct the mentality that believes in this biography. At the, tenth of, at the age of 10, my niece was forced by my sister to marry her 45 years old cousin. When people asked my sister about the morality of this marriage, she would say, this is the way Muhammad did it. And yes, Muhammad did marry Aisha when she was six and he was over 50. <laughs> so, when I go back to the Islamic sources and I read, the way Muhammad attacked the Jewish tribe of Bani Quraiza and he beheaded at least 800 men over one night. And not only that, the way the Islamic books describe his genitals, you, you wonder if we can reform Islam. When al, -Al, -Al zarqawi and his criminal gun beheaded the American journalist Mr. Daniel, uh, Daniel uh, Perot, I'm sorry. <laughs> they, they, they did it. They did it because the Islamic associates, the way they described and depressed the way Muhammad beheaded his opponent. The second point I need to focus on it, I have been asked by many Americans if there is any moderate Muslims, and the answer depends on the way we define moderation. If, the, if we mean by moderate the one who refused to be involved in any terrorist act, of course the majority of Muslims are moderate. But if we mean by moderate who refused to be involved in any terrorist and denounce the terrorism, of course, the, you know, this majority will badly shrink. If we mean by the moderate who refuse to be involved in terrorism, who do not denounce terrorism, and who admits that the Islamic teachings incite terrorism, that majority will become a very small minority. If we move to the fourth stage and say, 
the moderate who refused to be involved in any terrorism, who denounce terrorism, who admit that the Islamic teachings incite terrorism, and who try to reform his teachings, we will need a microscope to see the moderate Muslims.